stream the language. Hey folks, Troy Ruiz here from Primos. Listen, I want to give you a quick little couple of tips on taking care of your Gen 3 trigger stick. Now, we've had people say, well, my trigger stick doesn't go up and down anymore, or the legs are pinned open, or the legs are pinned shut. And I'll be honest with you, I've seen some trigger sticks in the day come back to us in packaging where there's mud packed inside of here, or there's dirt and sand packed in the leg system, or the leg has a big dent in it because it got thrown in the back of the truck. The tolerances in these legs in the inside where they slide in and out of each other are so close that if you were to dent or kink in one of these legs, it's going to eliminate that leg from sliding in and out. Please don't throw your trigger sticks out of the tree when you're getting ready to climb down. Don't lay them in the back of the truck with other things in the back of the truck. As far as this trigger right here, same thing. When you start throwing it in the back of the truck or you laying it in places where something may hit it, it will break. Everything inside of here is all O-ring based. As far as dirt and water and nastiness, and most of the water will come off. But if you happen to get any water inside of the legs, and even though the tolerances are so close, there's still going to be some water that will get in there. Sometimes you can even hear it when you turn in it. You'll hear the water running in the legs. What I like to do is I'll turn it upside down, and I'll just leave it sit in my garage or outside somewhere upside down for a little while and let that water drain to the head and it'll come out of the, the sides of the head and if there's any more left in there, just turn it back the other way. Now I will say, if you submerge this thing in water, if you're gonna take it on a duck hunt and you're gonna use it as a walking cane or you know a walking stick while you're duck hunting in, in some flooded marsh, it's not recommended that you do that with it. It's made for dry ground. It's not made for any aquatic adventures, should I say. It's not a push pole, it's not a paddle, it's a trigger stick and it's made to help you keep your gun steady. So use common sense when taking care of it. Do your very best to keep it clean, especially inside of here where your legs pivot. You'll get mud and dirt and sand in there, and it'll sure lock it up from where it needs to go. But to keep your trigger stick working in its full capacity, do your best to keep it clean and take care of it.